Hamilton, Scott Stone, Barnsworth, number 43, George Ford. And then we had 270 move up because he was a do not start and he's in fourth position. So here they come from the left. Oxide wide open, Mr. Tim Cohn in number 18, that white RV8. First lap speed, 226. 226, he did 208 yesterday, so yeah, I think he's got it working today. Okay, Tim Cohn followed by Scott Yeah, from your left, we got the 
this kind of flying around or just about 200 miles an hour and their airplanes are so close that look at that. They switch positions again on this lap. Okay, look at Tim Cohn going around time on four already. He's really opening up his lead. Not, not so much from Scott Park, but from the rest of the pack. Those two airplanes are definitely very close. We got the same, same lineup. This looks good. So we've done the same lineup again for this lap. But look at Scott Farnsworth. Look on the back side and on the left there, that yellow airplane that's a little bit high. He is putting the moves on big time on George Ford. So we'll have to see if he can make a pass here. I'm sure he's going to make a move. Inside track. Oh, he's done. Look at that. He got him. All right, Scott Farnsworth has passed Tim Cohn despite that nitrous oxide. And here we got the race. Race for last race, but who cares? Used it all, ran Scott out. Seth Baker. Here they come. Ah, Seth is holding them off, and now here's the race, folks. Looks to me like Scott Farnsworth may have took it from Tim Cohn, but we'll see. Yes, he's out in front. Tim Cohn has been passed by that six-cylinder of Scott Farnsworth, and I, as long as he doesn't fly too low, we're good. There they go. He took the race. All right, second place, Tim Cohen. Third place is Dan West, number 270. And he had a start from the very back because of his did not start yesterday. Okay, here's the race. And then about past George Ford. Looks like George bound enough to hold him off. There we go. We got fourth, fifth, and sixth. And 